January 19, 2010. From NBC News, this is Today. now believe the death toll in Haiti could reach 200,000. That is double the previous estimate. That's right. And the state department is now confirming the deaths of 24 Americans. Some other developments, the U.S. Security Council has been asked to send an additional 1,500 police and 2,000 troops to the 1,000 U.S. peacekeepers that are already in Haiti. On Monday, for the first time, the U.S. military airdropped supplies of food and water into makeshift refugee camps. And the Obama administration has eased restrictions on Haitian orphans being adopted by Americans, making it easier for them to enter this country. Right now, about 60 are on a plane headed to Pittsburgh, and we're going to have more on them in just a moment. So we're going to have more on this incredible rescue of a woman six days after that earthquake. Her husband never gave up hope. On Monday, he heard a sound coming out of the rubble and set off a dramatic rescue. Their emotional reunion is coming. And on a much different note, made a lot of jokes about the late night shake up here at NBC, but last night he got very serious about what's going on and exactly who knew what. We're going to hear his side of the story in just a bit. But let's begin with the latest out of Haiti, NBC's last report in the capital of Port-au-Prince. My turn the way down. My turn. Good morning. We're going to hear some complaints from Haiti. It took us a little 